I bought this myself and the reason I bought this is because I'm doing a review on a security camera that needs PoE. Power over Ethernet. Now, this is the camera that I'm reviewing at the moment and it does come with an adapter to give it power, as you can see there. But the problem is it doesn't come with the actual power or plug. So you have to give it power, either go out and buy one, which I'm guessing is probably about 1.5 volts. I haven't really looked into it. I'm guessing something like that. Or you can buy something like this and then plug it into there and it will give it power. Now, just to prove the point, I have an ethernet cable here. And if I plug that in, and that's into my switch, which is under my table or my desk, and nothing. See that? So in this video, we are going to see, and it should just work, we are going to see if it will power that up. It should do. So this is from a company called Vimin. Never heard of the name before, neither. And the reason I went for this one was one, because I like the spec on it. And two, it's quite cheap. I think it's about 30 or pound. I thought, yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do the job, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So advanced chipset, safety protection, LED indicators. Let's get it open, shall we? I'm not going to show you, well, I will show you the back. I wasn't going to, but it just tells you the company's name, uh, the rep, important, importer, and manufacturer. It just gives you the name, address, emails, and everything, which is a little bit unusual. Let's see if I can get it open there, then. Wasn't sealed, by the way. Oh, looks quite nice. PoE switch. I will read that at some point, maybe. I don't know. And the device itself. I do believe the pl oh, I was going to say I do believe the plug is built in, but it's not. <laughs> you just plug it in. Oh, nicely, uh, nicely packaged. On the bottom we have some mounting brackets, the, well these little things here, so I'm guessing all you do is you put your screws in the wall wherever you're putting them and then just slot them in, I'm guessing. There's your plug for power or your plug connection for power. Uh, don't know what that does, that looks like an earth, so that's an earth screw if you need to earth it, which we don't. Air vent on the side, air vent on that side which is good, looks like you can rack mount it, another good little idea. And on the front, we have obviously the name of the company or the seller, Vimin. 10 port gigabyte Ethernet switch with 8 port PoE. So they're the 8 port PoEs. We have 100 megabits per second uplink and the product number plus the on off power or VLAN. So with that, let's plug her in and see whether or not it works on this. I hope it does, because otherwise I'll have to send it back. This video is sponsored by Provido VPN. It provides top-notch online security and privacy protecting through its no logs policy and robust encryption protocols. The VPN offers a user-friendly interface and a wide range of servers in different locations around the world to ensure faster connections and smoother browsing. Provido VPN supports multiple devices and platforms including Windows, Mac, iOS, Android and Linux and allows up to 10 simultaneously connections. The server also offers features like kill switch, split tunneling and DNS leak protection to further enhance security and privacy. Provido VPN offers 24-7 customer support through its live chat and email ensuring prompt and helpful assistance wherever needed. The VPN server offers various pricing plans to suit different budgets and a 30-day money-back guarantee ensures a risk-free trial. Check out the link in the video description for more details. Right, the cable length is quite short actually. It's just over 900 millimeters long, so it's not very long. So you might want to swap it out. And I'm guessing, uh, I'm only guessing, I'm guessing there's probably a 3 amp fuse in there without taking it off. I'm guessing. Let's plug her in. And right, she lights up. We have power. We can switch that over to VLAN, which I'm not going to do just yet. I'm going to leave it like that. Right, Ethernet cable. Let's get my yellow one. Now, any of these should do it. So plug it in. Yeah. Oops, we'll do it. Right, that's all off at the moment. Okay, and then get this, plug that in. There you go, PoE, power over Ethernet, and she works. Yeah, 
and you can off. That is it, that's all we needed to do. What's the VLAN do? Goes all green? No, nothing. So yeah, so that's what I needed it to do. Give power over ethernet. Plug it in again, do it again. Light comes on. Voila. So now I can finish the review on this. Yeah, so that works perfectly. I am gonna be using this, and I'm gonna be using it permanently because I am gonna be putting them new cameras up and using them all the time. I've got two. So I'm doing two different reviews because they're two different cameras. So that is the first one. And then I've got another one. I'm looking forward to doing that as well. So uh, with that, I'm gonna have a little read and hopefully try and give you a little bit more information about this little, this little switch. Like I said, it works. Does it think it's supposed to do? Power out. Something to bear in mind, you do not need any special ethernet cable. It's just a standard ethernet cable. In case you didn't know and you think, well, what cable do I need? No, it's just a standard one. It's all you need. Don't have to go out and buy any special ones, all right? Something to bear in mind. So give me a second, I'll be back. Before I tell you what I think about this network switch, a couple of things I want to tell you first. One is I am not an expert on switches. Hopefully you've already figured that one out because I only know as much as anyone else, plug it in and it works. The second one is I said you needed to put your internet into there, which you don't. You can plug it into any of them, as far as I understand, yeah? Any of them will work as a normal network. So you can put your internet into say this one, for instance, and another device into this or into this. And they should connect because they have technology that's very clever inside these nowadays and they just work it all out for you. So you don't have to think about anything. It has to do no configuration or anything. Now, the way I understand how these work, and they work slightly different, they have a thing called VLAN. You need to turn it on. And it only works on these two devices. Now, let me give you a short, a short example of how that works. So VLAN is basically a virtual LAN. Now, say for instance, you're in an office and you have two different departments. The one does all the finance and the other one does all the law, say for instance. And the law is private and the finance is private. And you don't want other people from different departments being able to read the other department's information. Yeah, it's just an example, okay? So what you do, you plug that department into, say, the top one, and the other department into, say, the bottom one. Make sure your VLAN's on. And what that does is, all the information coming from that department will only go to whatever department is in that department, if that makes sense. So you're keeping it separate. That's how I understand it, yeah? And it should just do it, it should just work. I don't know if you have to go into settings or anything like that, so I'm not gonna try and explain anything like that, but that is the idea of that. But if you have it turned off, they should work exactly the same as them. Power over ethernet and ethernet. So whatever you plug in now, if that's turned off, so if you fill all eight of them up, or sorry, if you fill all 10 of them up and don't turn the VLAN on, they should all just connect and you should be able to see whatever computer is plugged into it or device. That's how it works. Now, what do I think about it? It's not the cheapest in the world. It's made of metal, which is nice, or tin, something like that, metal and tin, or thin layer of tin. It looks really nice when it's all lit up and it gets my thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It does exactly what I want it to do, which is it powers up my camera, whether it be at the back or at the front, powers them up and says, you know, you've got power and you've got data coming through and I can see what's going on. So uh, with that, let me know in the comments whether you're thinking about buying one of these. If you are, check out the link in the video description. They are affiliated links, so it don't cost you any more money. It just gives me a little bit of a kickback if you decide you want to buy one and you use my link. And it does help the channel. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.